I'm Robert McPartland. I'm a painter. I taught art and design for uh, 28 years and then five years ago um, I left and uh, was able to, to pick up on my own work. My big interest is um, painting objects, the things that surround us every day, uh, little inconsequential things. And I make brief sort of precarious arrangements of objects and then play with them. Leaves, papers, shiny things, fruit, natural forms. I'm very interested in the still life painting tradition but I want to make the work relevant to, to people today. The kind of work I, I used to do was, was landscape. I'm from the north and uh, so it was the big landscapes of, uh, of, the, uh, of the hills and the moors. But uh, I moved to London to go to college and after some years I found that I couldn't really connect with that as well so I had to find a new subject matter. I think what I've been doing increasingly over, particularly over recent years, is trying to get some of that that scale and physical textural experience that you get in landscape into these paintings of objects. When I'm painting something big and I'm in here, you know, this, this is like, you know, it's a sky. With some of these areas, it can be um, almost like a piece of modern architecture, you know, looking through arches or in a cathedral. But just, just a pair of colours next to each other can suggest something. This blue had a, a soft edge with a white, you know, so it could, be, it could be just like looking through a window to a little seascape almost there. Painting is all about relationships. I am drawn to pairs of objects. You can contrast things, whether it's hard, soft, um, hot, cool, the two hemispheres in our brain have very different takes on the world and what we experience is this combination of these two takes on the world working together, sometimes against each other, sometimes with each other. There's something very elemental about that and, and I'm really drawn to it. A painting is successful um, if it has to work on several levels and one level is that the whole thing has to work together so in a sense it has to look the same all over. Every part of the picture must play its equal part in keeping everything together in the composition but it must also work I think in a way that has a, a resonance. It, it, it helps you feel alive. When somebody wants my work it, it's, it's always a great compliment it, you know, to think that somebody else wants to have something I've made in their home. And that's really where I'd like to see the work, you know, in, in people's homes, because uh, these things have a job to do, I think. Um, you know, their job is to be out there in the world, um, you know, being part of somebody else's life. I believe deeply in, in painting. I think painting is the art form which, for me, you can see it all at once, in one go, together. And that's, that's the power of real painting. It's kind of like when you walk into a room and um, you're not aware of anything in particular, you just get the whole thing for a second. Painting can be almost outside time and that quality of time almost being stopped, I think when you're in front of a painting that really works, is, is something that I think is my life's work. Anyone who loves painting is trying to do that, you know, they're trying to make something that will just really stop time.